What is going on guys? Welcome to Mark's Tech. So today I want to do a video showcasing what I think to be some of the great features and tips and tricks of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Some of these tricks can be transferred over to uh, the Galaxy S line of phones. So if you do have the S10 Plus or S10 or even any other previous S lines of phones, uh, be sure to check it out because you might be able to do these features on there as well. First things first, if the lights flicker, don't worry, I'm not living in a haunted mansion. I'm not that crazy white kid in the movies. I'm actually in the middle of a hurricane. Uh, so yeah, I got bored. I decided to make a video. <laughs> and yeah, if the lights flicker, I'm good. I'm good. There's not a ghost in here. So, I mean, not that I know of. The Note 10 Plus is a beast of a phone. So hopefully with these tips and tricks, you can make this phone experience even better. The first tip is to change your phone's name. If you have a bunch of Bluetooth devices in your house or even in your car and you, your mom, your dad both have the Note 10 Plus, uh, that Bluetooth device is gonna read three Note 10 Pluses. So it can get very difficult and confusing to find out which one you wanna connect to. To do this, head into settings, click on about phone and click on edit. Here you can change the name of the phone so other Bluetooth devices will, will be able to showcase that name instead of just the model number. This next trick has to do with the fingerprint sensor. I made a video about it uh, about five months ago using my S10 Plus, and I thought I would include it here just to keep it refreshed up. And uh, so many note owners probably don't know about this, maybe you do, but Samsung's way of registering your fingerprint is a little iffy. It works for some, it doesn't work for all. So here's how you can register your fingerprint the best way possible so it is the most accurate and you will have a better time unlocking your phone with almost zero mistakes. It's going to tell you to add it by just simply clicking on it and just doing this. I don't like doing that and uh, if you guys have seen my previous video, I've helped a lot of people by unlocking their phone much better. So what you wanna do is don't actually press in the middle of the sensor. You wanna do it in little steps. So first you wanna scan your finger a little above the sensor, the middle and then down a little bit, then left a little bit, center, right. So this is how it should look like. So what this does is it guarantees that you don't actually have to click the center of it every single time. So you can click a little bit under the sensor and it will still unlock because that's the part that you registered. Now you can go ahead and add this to the next fingerprint. Once you do this, as you can see, I'm gonna move my finger a little down on the sensor and it will still unlock. As you guys can see. Now I'm gonna do a little bit to the right and it still unlocks. So that way, even when the screen's off, you already know the general area that you have to press and it unlocks. So you don't actually have to get spot on every single time. You can go a little bit left, a little bit right, up, down, whatever you want. If you want to showcase the phone's battery percentage without constantly pulling down the notification tray, simply go to settings, click on the three dots, click on status bar, and slide the toggle to show battery percentage. Now you can see your battery percentage no matter what you're doing on your phone. Since the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus have fused Bixby and the power button together, many find it annoying that they can't power off the phone by holding down the side key. To fix this little mishap, go into quick settings and click on the power button. From there, select side key settings and under press and hold sub menu, click on power off menu. Now, whenever you click and hold the power button, you can get access to the power menu without Bixby interrupting you like a jealous girlfriend. This next tip also has to do with the power button. If you go into that same menu as I showed before, you can also customize what app opens if you double click the power button. It's automatically set to camera, but if you click on open app, you can have it to open any app you wish. Moving forward, the Note 10 Plus is easily the fastest phone I've ever used for everyday life. But it's not like that out of the box. Go into settings and look up software information. Once you do that, click on the build number a few times until you see that you've unlocked developer mode. Once you do that, go back into settings and scroll all the way down until you see developer options. 
Click on it and scroll down until you see Window Animation Scale, Animator Duration Scale, and Transition Animation Scale. Change all of those to 0.5 and you will see how quick the phone opens up apps and returns to the home screen. Now, if you're Speedy Gonzalez and that is still not fast enough for you, you can actually change all those from 0.5 to off. That way your phone will literally open up apps in a blink of an eye. You can say goodbye to animations, but who needs animations when you got stuff to post on Twitter? I don't know. It's always good to optimize your phone so it runs perfectly and flawlessly every single day. Go into settings and click on device care. Then click on the three buttons on top and select auto optimize. Turn that feature on and select a time. So at that time every single day, hopefully when you're sleeping, uh, that's why I suggest doing it in the AM when you are sleeping, the phone will actually shut down background apps that you don't need, but it will keep the most recent apps open. Furthermore, you can actually click on close apps so that way it actually closes everything from the background. So then when you wake up, your phone is fresh, ready to start the day. Hopefully like you are, unless you're hungover. I feel you. Now, if that's not enough for you for some weird reason, go back a page, click on the three dots and select auto restart. The phone will restart on whatever time and date you set uh, so that way it actually does a full reboot instead of just removing the background applications. Because let's be honest, no one actually has the time to restart the phone themselves because it just takes so long. If you want to make the most out of your Note devices, it sure helps if you have enough battery. So go into quick settings, click and hold on the power mode. Once you do that, make sure adaptive battery is turned on. The phone will realize what you do at what time of day, so it will automatically switch between optimized power mode and medium power saving mode. So for example, if you come home around five o'clock every single day and uh, you don't really use your phone for about an hour, the phone will realize that and it will actually go into medium power saving mode automatically without you doing anything just to give you that extra battery percentage. If you play a lot of games and you destroy kids on Fortnite or any other game of your choice, make sure you do this. Head on over to power mode and select high performance. When you select this, it will change the brightness to plus 10% and it turns on the WQHD screen resolution so that way you get the best experience playing games. Next up on the list is video enhancer. Go into settings and search up video, click on video enhancer and toggle it on. When you toggle it on, you will see a little preview of what it does and which apps it works from the ones you have installed. If you watch a lot of YouTube and other streaming platforms, you will benefit the most from this. In short, if your brightness is at 50% and you open up YouTube, the brightness will automatically go up as well as makes the screen's uh, colors pop out more. This feature is amazing because I've been using iPhone for 10 years and anytime the brightness is low and I go into YouTube, I have to manually turn it up. And then whenever I leave YouTube, I have to manually set it down. Uh, this feature right here does it all automatically. So anytime you go into YouTube, brightness goes up. Anytime you leave it, the brightness goes down. And this works with anything, like I said, any apps that you have installed, it will show you a list of them. So you already know what you're getting yourself into. The next trick has to do with the S Pen. If you're in the camera application and you wanna zoom in, you don't have to keep making circles like a failed wizard. Simply click the button on the pen and make a half circle and keep holding the button. It will keep zooming in until you let go of the button. And the same works the other way around. So you don't have to keep doing this until you get to 10 times or whatever. You just simply make a half circle, click and hold, or click and hold, make a half circle. It goes to its maximum and just let go. There you go. If many of you have been using the Note devices for quite some time, this next trick and, or tip, whatever you want to call it, may be pretty obvious. But for those of you who are just getting into Note series of, of, of phones, uh, this is pretty cool because uh, it actually kind of amazed me. So obviously you see a cursor when the pen is near the screen. If you hover the pen on different things, it will actually give you a preview of what you're hovering over. This works on pictures along with even notifications. Speaking of the S Pen, how many of you have laid the S Pen down next to the note the phone goes to sleep, you pick up the S Pen only to realize you have to enter your password on the phone again. This happened to me a lot, but there's a quick little easy solution. Simply go into settings and look up S Pen. Click on the S Pen unlock and boom. Now when your S Pen is out of the phone and the phone goes to sleep, you can click on the button and it automatically unlocks your phone. This is not dangerous as you guys may think. For example, my phone is unlocked right now. If I unlock it and I can press the button, it will automatically unlock the phone. But if I lock the phone, put the pen back inside the phone, and then take the pen out, 
I actually cannot unlock it. I'm clicking the button and all it's doing is giving me the option to draw on my screen. That's it. So this only works if the phone was previously unlocked at the time of the S Pen being out of the phone. So the only time this is dangerous is if you keep your S Pen and the phone away from each other as the phone is unlocked. You go, you're, you're at a coffee shop, you go into the bathroom, then yeah, someone can easily come up to your phone, pick it up, click the S Pen button and it will unlock. But if you keep the S Pen inside the phone, there's no way for them doing that. A little side tip, Keep your phone on you. <laughs> Don't leave it out unsupervised. This next tip is pretty funny because I was unaware of how many Galaxy owners don't know about this. If you wanna quickly switch between apps, double press the recent apps key and it will quickly take you back to your previously used app. Now here's a cool little tip for your amazing phones. Let's be honest, they are expensive and they're only going to get more expensive as the trend continues. So why not protect your phone with the Rhino Shield cases? The case I'm using in this video is the solid suitcase. It's super thin, it has a raised lip, so you don't have any problems putting the device down screen side first. Access to the S Pen is super easy. Not only that, but it has an 11 feet of drop protection. Rhino Shield also has a shock resistant skin. Yeah, you heard that right. It's a skin that spreads the shock around the entire device instead of focusing it on a particular area of the phone. On my S10 Plus, I'm using the Rhino Shield bumper case along with the impact skin. And this makes the phone feel super clean, super thin, with maximum protection. If you want 10% off your next order, use code MARKSTECH10. Links will be in the description below. This next tip anybody can benefit from. If you use your phone in bed a lot, especially laying on your side, it's gonna get quite annoying to keep turning on and off the rotation lock. So here's a little tip. Keep the lock on. Sounds weird, right? But no worries. Anytime you put your phone into landscape, you will see a little rotation symbol your phone will not switch orientation until you click on that key. So that way you don't have to keep going into the quick settings to keep turning on and off the rotation lock. Simply keep it locked, but only use that key whenever you need to. So guys, that was pretty much it. That was my little list of things that I like about the Note 10 Plus and that keeps it pretty fresh. If you have any tips and tricks you wanna share with the community, leave them in the comment section below. And if you got this far in the video, comment a pizza emoji. Let's see if we can get other people confused. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.